Hello YouTube viewers and Madam Doctor Who fans, today I'll be doing a review of this, which is the new Funko Pop Vinyl 12th Doctor figure, and here it is in its packaging. It's your standard Pop Vinyl box layout with the Pop logo and Doctor Who logo across the top. It's figure number 219, and it is the 12th Doctor Vinyl figure, with an illustration of the figure off to the side. The window is really big, extending all the way around to the side of the box, giving you a good look at the figure inside. On the back, we don't really get anything new, save for some of the other figures in the wave. So that's it for the box, let's move on to the figure. Alrighty, so here we have the 12th Doctor, and as you can see, it's that basic pop vinyl design that we've come to expect with the enlarged head and tiny body. What I do have to admire about these figures is that they all look so simplistic, yet instantly recognisable at the same time. And I do have to admit that this looks more like Peter Capaldi than the character options 3 and 3 quarter scale figures. The head is the same shape as all pop vinyls, with the large black button eyes and the small protruding nose and ears at the sides, but just... Two features alone make it look like the 12th Doctor, the grey attack eyebrows and the grey hair. It's extraordinary how these features alone are enough to make it work. The hair sculpt is great, a little paint bleed here and there, but the sculpt really works well as Capaldi's grey curly locks. Moving down to that minuscule body, he is of course wearing the 12th Doctor's default outfit with the Crombie coat over the cardigan and white shirt. The coat looks great with the button in the middle and the red lining underneath visible as the coat has been flicked back. On the back you can see the stitching running down the middle and the buttons are present on both of his wrists. The jumper can be seen just a little bit underneath while the collar of the shirt has been sculpted very sharply as well as the lapels. However, while white paint has been added to the cuff on his left arm, the right has been left blue. Speaking of which, he's holding his sonic screwdriver in his right hand. It's not removable as it's all part of the hand sculpt, but the detail on here is excellent. It's in open mode with the claws flicked out, while the paint apps have been really carefully applied here, with even some of the copper section present. It looks great. And even then on his left hand, you can spot his ring, so the attention to detail here is surprisingly high. As for the trousers, well, they're grey for some reason, even though they should match the coat's colour. Strange. However, they do look nice enough, what with the low level of creased and wrinkled material effect added to them. The boots contain a decent amount of detail on there too, while the undersides just contain a hefty dollop of legal junk ban flad. So overall for detail, it's simple, yet effective. Turning to articulation, the figure can do the full 360 degree exorcist twist. And that's it. Yep, no shoulder, wrist, waist or leg articulation. Then again, that's not really too much of an issue as the figure is already in a dynamic enough pose. Doing a size comparison, most of these figures are based on the same template, it's only the detail that separates them. So, as you can see there, the 12th Doctor fits in well with some of my other pop vinyl figures. So overall, what do I think of this figure? Well, it's really, really adorable, and making Peter Capaldi adorable is no mean feat, so credit where credit is due. You do have to admire the intricate simplicity of these figures. While the head is extremely basic, it's always instantly recognisable as the character it's supposed to be, while all the levels of detail have been carefully added to the small bodies. My one issue with this is that while the enlarged head adds to the cuteness factor, it can make the figure overbalanced, so perhaps the bodies could have been a little heavier, or, God forbid, a base could have been included. But in the end, it's a nice little collectible for any Whovian, and while it's a bit of a no-man's land when it comes to detail, I can certainly see its appeal. And uh, so that brings us to the end of this review. I really hope you liked it. If you did and you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe for more videos, and keep up to date with all my latest news and reviews by liking my Facebook page and following me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.